and welcome to Financial Zula, where we give you information, insight, and tips on just about any financial topic in and around Namibia. In today's video, we will be doing a tutorial walkthrough of how to field your tax return on ICAS. So I will be walking you through it on a screen recording so that you can see how you can do it and then you can also fill yours. Let's get into how to do that step by step online and yeah, I hope you will enjoy the video. But please remember that this video does not constitute financial advice. And if you're looking for financial advice, please speak to a certified financial advisor. Okay, so let me show you how to do your tax return. so let's get started um you can use any web browser to access the itis uh, portal i am using google chrome for this video so to access it i'll just be entering the website www.itis.mof.na and that is the website that i'll use to access the itis e-portal so this website is namra's official website uh you can access it yeah you can find it using any web browser really so this is how it looks like i want to just take you first to the bottom of the website so that you can see that down there we have the due dates for submission of tax returns this is going to give you the due date for every tax return that you might be willing uh, you might be filling at this stage and you want to know when exactly it's due so this little page at the bottom here gives you all those dates so i just want to take you back to one that i believe a lot of people need to know about it's the income tax individual salaried which is um the tax year ends on the 28th of february or if it's a leap year on the 29th of february but then the tax return is due on the 30th of june so every 30th of june um the tax returns will be due so that is uh, the one that we'll be focusing on the most today. Uh, here by download documents, if you just go back to the top, it uh, gives you a few of the download documents that you can access. I will put a link in the description to the do uh, documents that this video is based on. It's how to uh, file your income returns 2019 and prior years and how to file your income tax returns 2020. I'll just leave a description. So these are the word by word how uh instructions on how to file your tax return but for today i will just be giving you a video so that you don't have to <laughs> go read the document i mean that's the whole purpose but yes i will be focusing on the 2020 document um because most tax returns uh from 2020 will follow this pattern so we will just access the itis portal by clicking on itis portal there the orange and it will bring us to this login page so for this login page if you have not watched the how if you have if you don't recognize it you probably haven't seen the how to register on itis video please watch that video it will show you how to register so that you can get a username and you can get a password and you can have access to the itis e-portal so i will just be entering my username there where it says log in and the good thing about this page is you're able to enter your password and view it. If you are not sure if you're entering the right password, you can just click on the eye there so that it opens and then you can see your password and then you're able to log in. Okay, so there are two options for you to log in. You can either log in as a taxpayer or you can log in as a representative. So if you are somebody's representative, you'll be logging in as a representative. But if you are logging in as your own representative then you log in as a taxpayer you just click on login and then it will bring you to this page uh, for where you're able to file your return this is uh, how mine looks like when i log in i have a notification pop up there i will look at those notifications as soon as i can um, i probably received an email so that's why i didn't look at it but there's a few tabs at the top 
for this video we'll be focusing on the return tab there so you just click on the return tab and then it will show my returns drafts outstanding returns you click on my returns and then it opens this page here this is where you want to be and then you just click on the blue there that says search your return if you click on the blue then it shows you all your returns okay i have three in this video um with all their statuses uh, i have assessed assessed and i have one pending for submission so that's what it should look like your returns should already be there you just need to come and uh, fill them out and complete them and get them into the assessment process okay so you click on the return that you wish to fill so or to file sorry so you click on it and then it goes blue um it should be highlighted blue then you click on file your return so once you click there you get this pop-up confirmation that asks you to either fill um fill it uh please select the form type so you would be selecting a normal form or a c form so you only select the c form if you only worked with one employer for the whole tax year and you all, you're only claiming allowable deductions for pension, provident, retirement, annuity, and study policy contributions. I selected normal form uh, in case I have other types of income that I also would like to declare. And then I land on this page where I am now going to start filing my return. This is what it should look like. You would you want to start by confirming that the return information is correct so your tin your periods your text types your due dates your um you can't really confirm the eft reference but you want to confirm everything else and then you come to the document so this is the attachment container this is where you will be required to upload the documents that um confirm your the details that you would have filled in your tax return so um the most important one for salaried individuals is your payee 5 certificate your certificate iro retirement fund and your certificate iro study policies to upload you just go there to that little arrow that points up and then you would tick whether you uploaded it or not or it will automatically tick and then you add the description the description can just be the name of the return it's important to note that when you are uploading and you for say have five payee five returns or five payee five certificates you want to upload or to con to put them in one document so you just combine all of them and then you upload one document that contains all of them so you can just put a description there that says these are all my payee fives or i normally just name it payee five certificate and that is how i <laughs> describe my tax return and if we keep going down i just want to say so there's three main schedules for a salaried individual that you will be filing or you will be completing um uh, you doesn't mean you shouldn't complete the rest you should still go through the rest and make sure that everything is fine but i prefer to say that we there are three main ones that you will be looking at we'll be starting with schedule three the employment etc that's the first schedule that we'll be focusing on then we'll also look at 17 and 24 but uh, let's start with schedule three the employment one so with the employment one this is um where you'll be required to to complete your revenue code so the revenue code depends on what industry you are in all right and the old tax returns used to have the revenue codes and namra also actually refers you back to those uh, returns to actually look at the revenue code that you should be uh, applying or you should be inputting i will put a link to that document here so that you can know which revenue code to use okay so please make sure that your expenses and income amounts are correct and they are actually the amounts that sit on the documents that you upload so your payee five your pension fund or study policy documents make sure that the details there agree to the details that you're gonna add here and then you have an option to add or delete columns um, so you just click on the plus there with the add or the x there with the delete then you can be able to edit 
So you just fill or you file according to what is required there for most salaried individuals by the time you are ready to file your return all these fields are complete all you really have to do is confirm that the amounts there are the amounts pay your payee five and that you agree with your payee five and then you are able to just file that part and be yeah be happy actually yeah okay so if you're happy with everything on schedule three you can now move on so we are now moving on to schedule 17 which is the calculation of your tax payable again the details in this schedule just need to agree to the documents that you've uploaded mostly your payee 5 certificate but if you have any other documents that support the calculation of your tax payable then you have to make sure that these agree so again it will you'll be required to uh, add, uh, add in the amounts but of course for salaried employees sometimes the amounts will already be there and you will already have a tax deducted amount calculated and added there so just take note there that the tax amount excludes the income in schedule 4 so if you are filling schedule 4 then make sure that the amounts that you enter here or the amounts that are here agree to schedule 4 and yeah that is your schedule 17 it's very short and sweet and you can quickly just finish that one so let's move on to the final schedule which is schedule 24 schedule 24 is the employers housing and vehicles all right so this is the final very important schedule that you need to make sure you file or you fill or you make sure that it has all the correct details so there is a tax allowance for individuals that are renting um i believe it is a third of your of the rental that you pay but in order for namra to be able to trace that they need the tin of the house owner where you are renting they need the amount of rent that you pay so this is the part where you actually declare this is how much rent i've been paying and this is who i pay to so that they're able to follow up on the person that you pay rent to to make sure that that person is also paying their taxes <laughs> yeah so sometimes you don't have the tin of the house owner but you might then just enter the amount i mean the id or the registration number for the house owner and that should give you the same results and then the rest of schedule 24 is yeah apart from housing details is vehicle details so they want uh, to know if you are in possession of a company vehicle then you just enter your your employer's turn and the make of the vehicle and you just make sure that those details agree to the documents that you upload and that they are correct very important once you have um, completed everything then you need to make a declaration to say i declare that the information furnished in this return is true and correct once you've ticked that you declare that it's correct as you can see it has a red asterisk so the red asterisk actually just shows you that it's required for you to complete your tax return if you have not ticked it then you won't be able to complete your tax return so you just click on the box there right so once you're done filing all your completing all your schedules then you can come up here with the where you can enter the verification code you just enter whatever you see there ICA6LA and then once you are uh, have entered everything there you just click submit and your return is filed or filled and you can yeah wait for Namra to assess your return and just give you feedback on that you usually receive an a verification email that shows that you have completed your return and that you have filed it and that everything is fine otherwise if you have not completed everything if something is not right with your return then you will get an error and then if you go back to the bottom of the page that it will show you why the return is unable to be submitted like what is missing it will usually tell, uh, give you a schedule number or a schedule reference and then you can go to the schedule and see what exactly you missed and then you can quickly just fix it and yeah continue with the submission so yes that is uh, 
the short tutorial on how to file your tax return properly and yeah to be tax compliant i really hope that this helped and if you have any questions anything please don't be afraid and he uh, hesitate to put it in the comment box hi financial zula viewers if you are new welcome to financial zula welcome to the channel that gives you information insight and tips on about on financial topics and we hope that you love the content and if you do please subscribe please like please share and returning viewers welcome thank you guys thank you for returning thank you for coming back to each and every video and for just being that loyal person all right share this video with your friends let them also come and get some of these tutorials like the one we just did all right so that they can also learn everything that you are learning and you can you know have something to talk about that's in comments because you guys both know how to do things now um anyway subscribe like share and we will see